I used to do these wheel spin Sims videos all the time a few years ago. Things like spinning a wheel to decide my Sims build, or like I even had a whole Let's Play that I was spinning a wheel for, and the options would be like break up with your boyfriend or get fired and stuff like that. I don't really know why I stopped making as many videos like that because I think that random aspect of it is really fun. So I have created us another little wheel for a new build challenge, or I guess I've made two wheels today. This is sort of similar to those building a house but every room is a different blank sort of challenges. So to build this house, we're going to spin two wheels for each room. The first wheel is going to tell us what room we're building. So it might be a kitchen, it might be the bathroom. And then the next wheel is going to tell us how much money we have to build that room. And this is going to get tricky because this ranges from 500 to 25,000 simoleons. So we could get really unlucky and have 500 simoleons for the kitchen and then maybe 25,000 for the hallway. And potentially we could get really unlucky and not have a kitchen or a bedroom or a bathroom at all. We've got a big empty lot and I'm just gonna start spinning. So the first room that we are going to build is going to be, oh, a nursery. Okay, so we have a baby. I really, really hope that we get another bedroom because we need to have an adult who lives here with the baby. And for that nursery, we are going to have a budget of, Oh my god, 18,000 simoleons. <laughs> okay, rich baby. Once we spin something, I'm gonna remove it from the wheel just to make things a little bit more complicated. I'll set our money to 18,000. And for some weird reason, we are starting this house with a nursery. We have to think kind of strategically about this too because we don't have any other rooms yet. So we have to figure out how we're gonna build stuff around this. Oh, maybe I'll decorate this room for twins and we can put two beds. I'm also gonna use some relatively simple windows just because I'm nervous about being able to afford those windows again in other rooms. It's almost a challenge itself to try and spend this much money on a tiny nursery. Most of this stuff just really isn't that expensive, so I don't know how to spend the money. I don't know if you've heard too many noises, but this one and his sister are being a little bit chaotic right now. So if there's any like running, <laughs> jumping, yelling perhaps, that, that would be my kittens. I wanna get some artwork, but I don't know what matches. Like, is that too much? I put some toys on the floor, I got a nice light, and I'm probably gonna regret this, but like, I genuinely don't really know what else to spend this money on, so I might just call it and let myself move to the next room. When I spin like 500 simoleons, I'm gonna be really mad at myself, but the next room is going to be... Oh God, oh my God, oh, <laughs> a hallway. <laughs> and the cat's just knocked over a candle. Not in a bad way, it's not like a lit candle. It's just, it was just up there and they pushed it towards the wall and then scared themselves. <laughs> Nothing's wrong. The books are just a little bit out of place, but that's fine, we're making a hallway. And the budget hopefully is cheap. Please be cheap. Oh my God, no, 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 no. Oh, this is really bad. We're gonna get rid of all of the expensive options. Okay, 22,000 simoleon hallway. <laughs> Like, what am I even supposed to do with that? Okay, I'm sort of hoping that I'll be able to put a bathroom in the middle here. Like, that's my dream. So what I need to do is build the hallway kind of around that in hopes that we can put a bathroom in the open space. All right, this is really, really weird, okay? But here's what I'm thinking for the shape of the hallway. Am I allowed to buy doors now? I think I should be allowed to buy doors now. So I guess I'm kind of picturing that there will be a bathroom around here. Oh, maybe I should scoop this over a little bit. This is just just an experiment, okay? I'm kind of picturing there'll be a bathroom here. I'm hopeful that I can get a bedroom over here. And then I'm thinking we'll have a kitchen and like a dining room. I guess I don't know where the gym's gonna go. We don't even know if we're gonna get a gym. We don't even know if we're gonna get a kitchen. <laughs> but that's kind of my thought with the layout, basically. And I've decided that I am gonna buy entry doors now because otherwise I'm doomed. We'll get a nice front door, like a real nice front door. That's the cats playing with a ball. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, maybe I'll put the door over here. Cause you know what? If the door was there, if we had to, there could be like a bigger bathroom and then we could have a room in the front as well. Oh, okay. Preemptively buy yourself a door for right there too, Kayla, just in case. We need to prepare for the worst because we don't know what's gonna happen. I'm using Eliza Pancakes as a test sim. Should I get an Eliza Pancakes wedding photo? Aw, see, that's actually kind of cute. We can get some nice stuff like thermostats and all those little things that we maybe won't have enough money for later. Maybe I should try and put a computer in here. I'm just thinking like, what if we don't have enough money for a computer in a future room? And we have plenty of money right now, so maybe I should just buy it now. 
now. I could even get a really expensive one if I wanted to. <laughs> we have all the money in the world for this room. Everything's fine in this room. Okay, I think the hallway might be done. This is such a weird shaped room. I'm, I just know I'm gonna regret this so much. I, I'm kind of nervous about it, but it's fine. I've done it. Please, kitchen, 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 kitchen. <gasps> okay, 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 kitchen. <laughs> The house is gonna be functional. And for the kitchen, we are going to have a budget of... No, 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 no. Oh my God. All right, a thousand simoleons. We have 1000 simoleons for the kitchen. I don't think that's possible. We can't afford to buy a wall. I can just barely afford the necessities, like the cheapest things. Can I afford a wall that goes back? Oh my God, I can't even afford a wall that big okay wait this kind of changes things a little bit it does it does complicate the situation <laughs> oh my god it fits in here though it does fit in here okay let's open debug because we can maybe find some debug lights in debug there are some lights that are zero simoleons so we can use those this is not really what i was picturing when i decided to build this house but this is okay we can maybe achieve something kind of interesting with the floor tile like we can try and do a little custom pattern like this okay we can afford a wall tile that's nice um i don't know if there's any windows that i can afford <laughs> i would really really like to have a window these don't really match which kind of makes me feel sad because i want them to match from the outside but um, maybe that's good. That's a functional kitchen. It's all you really need. And I spent exactly 1,000 simoleons. We got zero left. This is a little bit worse than I was expecting. I kind of got too confident because we got lucky a few times. Okay, the next room is going to... Oh, an office. I still don't have a bedroom. I'd also like a bathroom. Just saying. That would also be nice. And the office is going to be worth... Are you actually joking? The office is going to be worth 25,000 simoleons. So... I can't afford a kitchen, but I can afford a 25,000 simoleon office. Oh no. You know what I shouldn't have done? The window. Cause I was gonna put a room over here. Oh, there's gonna be a window into the room. Is it too late to delete that? I'm so silly. I was fully planning on putting a room up here. Like that was the goal is there was gonna be a big room in the front <laughs> and I put a window in the kitchen. This lovely picture is also 25 simoleons. Maybe I can replace it. Okay, back to the office. <laughs> we have a ton of money to use in this office. So I'm kind of picturing that we could get a really cool built-in library situation. We basically have all the money in the world for this room. So we don't need to worry about cost at all. We can kind of put whatever we want. So I may as well just use a ton of the stuff for the book nook kit. I could even get a really nice picture if I wanted. With 25,000 simoleons, we could buy like the fancy picture. We could get this one. This one might fit a little better. These giant windows look really ugly from the outside, but I don't really care because the whole house is kind of ugly now. As soon as the kitchen failed us like that, we were doomed oh my god the game almost just crashed well we can get some really nice curtains <laughs> So that'll be nice, I guess. To be completely honest, I am a little bit confused about how I'm managing to spend so much of this budget because I felt like I had a lot of money to work with in here and it is slowly dwindling. I'm still not gonna spend all of it though. I might get a really fancy chess table. Some of these nice chairs, that looks good in the corner. We could probably get a fancy clock. Another fancy painting, there we go. Maybe I'll get a more expensive computer. Is there anything else that's like a little bit pricier? This laptop is actually cheaper <laughs> somehow. You know what, I kind of like this room. I think. I think it honestly turned out pretty cute. We've got some nice stuff in there. It's kind of cozy. My cats are playing with cords. Okay, next room. I'm really hoping for a bathroom and a bedroom. That's all we need is a bathroom and a bedroom and hopefully nothing useless <sighs> like an art studio. That's so cool. <laughs> Thank you game. That's, this is not really what I was expecting to happen to me today. How much money for the art studio? Please something cheap, something cheap. Not, please, no, 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 no. Why? Oh my god. Okay, we have 20,000 simoleons for an art studio. That has left us with like the cheapest stuff, by the way. Uh, and we still have some expensive rooms to do. 20,000 simoleons. Okay. What if we put it over here somehow and we made it into like an all glass room? I guess kind of like a sunroom of sorts? Because that definitely looks a little bit more interesting from the outside, which will help us because otherwise this place is going to be kind of boring. And I guess some of the art things are kind of expensive. This easel's 2300. Oh, this is fine. I mean, it, it would have been nice if I had this money for a different room, like maybe perhaps a more useful room. But these little canvas things, believe it or not, are actually 3000 simoleons. So we can definitely make do with the money. I love these canvases. Like to me, this is so cute. There's even this thing, which you could use to paint a still life. Um, 
I don't really know if I want to put that in the corner because <laughs> it might be kind of random, but I suppose even if they're not currently using it, it doesn't hurt to have it set up. Even these sketches, these are 575 simoleons. That's a lot of money. Oh, maybe we could get a little sink too because that might work as like a nice, I don't know, clean your paintbrushes sort of sink. Would the walls be white? Because you don't want to put like anything dramatic on the walls to alter how the colors of your painting look. I don't know. I play Sims. I don't paint. I don't know anything. What if instead of the still life thing, we got like a little kids painting set up? Maybe this Sim teaches art classes for little ones too. They could probably have a second easel of their own. I can buy some more canvases. Maybe I'll make these canvases blank. I guess that's one way to spend some money. What about a ceiling fan? I bet it would be hot in here because it's all windows everywhere. Maybe that's good for the art studio. I don't know. Let's try the next room. Okay, 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 okay. Living room. That's good. We still have no bedroom, but that's fine. We've got a living room and the budget for this living room is going to be, please, enough money for a TV. Please, please, please. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, 7,500 is okay. We can do that. I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. I'm starting to like kind of uh, maybe regret this a little bit. We need to have space for a bathroom and a bedroom still. The way that I've done the windows here is kind of confusing. Maybe this living room needs to be long and skinny because then it can also act as a hallway. <laughs> Just in case. We need to have enough room for it to be a hallway also. Maybe I'll get like two, maybe I'll get like two doors because then potentially there could be like a room there and a room there if there needs to be. I've kind of caused myself a slight problem because in all the other rooms I was using really expensive flooring because we had so much money and now we're kind of running running low on funds and I don't really want to use that expensive flooring anymore, but I've sort of set a precedent with it. It's fine. Like I don't have to use the same flooring in every room. I just kind of like to do that. This blanket basket is only 30 simoleons. I don't think I ever realized how cheap that was because that's perfect for this. Oh, the bigger windows look way better. It's not even that bad from the outside either. So that's really nice. And then we have 250 simoleons left. What if I got a couple of these pillows from the modern Lux kit and kind of put them in the corner? Corners. That makes the couch look more realistic. It's kind of cozier that way. Oh, I like this little room. Okay, please wheel, please. Can I have a bedroom? I just want a bedroom. Maybe a bathroom too, that might be nice. <sighs> okay. And the budget for the dining room is going to be 3,000. You know, I'm not asking for much. I just really would like to have a bedroom. <laughs> right now, two babies live here alone. I'm also running out of spaces to put this. Like I'm kind of struggling here just a little bit. It's so hard to space plan for something like this when you don't know like what room you're gonna get or how much money it's gonna be worth. How fun is it that this dining room costs more money than the entire kitchen? Isn't that just lovely? Like, aren't you so glad that this has worked out so well for us? I can't do anything else in there. What's next? Give me, please, can I have a bathroom? Maybe a bedroom, please, please, please. No, 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 no. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Laundry room and the budget for the laundry room, watch it be like 10 grand, 15 grand maybe. Oh no, oh no. Ugh. Okay, <laughs> we have 2,000. We have 2,000 simoleons for the laundry room. Do you think that I could be allowed to put bathroom stuff in this laundry room? Cause I, I personally feel as though I should be allowed to do that. These are both lovely rooms with plumbing and there's plenty of space. I, I think that, oh, 500. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> maybe. Maybe I can't afford it. Okay, maybe we could at least get a toilet and a sink though. Wow, this stuff costs way more money than I thought. Yeah, I, I can't even afford a hamper for this room. Maybe we can't have that. Well, that's interesting and worse than I was expecting. <laughs> I really, I thought this was gonna be easier than that. Maybe this poster could be cute. That's nice. We don't have a trash can anywhere either. Maybe I could buy a little trash can. Okay. <laughs> There's the laundry room. It's functional. It's functional. I am not really sure where we could get another room. I'm not gonna lie. I think that maybe we only have space for one more room. Um, and that room honestly might have to be over here. Like maybe I'll delete that window or like scoot the window over or something and we can put like one last door right there and, and build some sort of room like in this area. Okay, one more room. <laughs> It could be a bedroom, it could be a bathroom, it could be a cat room, or it could be a gym. And the final room is going to be please, 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 please. Cat room. <sighs> okay. So this house belongs to two babies and a cat, apparently, and that's it. Okay. <laughs> 
And the budget of the final room, of this final cat room, is going to be... Are you actually kidding me? 10,000 simoleons. We have 10,000 simoleons for the cat. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. 10,000 simoleons. I guess the cat can have a room like this. This house is a disaster. Like, look at the shape of this thing. <laughs> I might do that same window thing because the cat probably wants to have a lot of windows to look out of. Is that too much? Is this cat tile entirely too much or is it kind of fun? The whole place is ruined anyway, so we might as well just have fun with it, right? I'll give the cat a little bit of privacy here for their litter box. We'll kind of put it behind a wall or something. Sunny, as the resident cat, what do you think about this? Does that seem like it would be good? Are you sure? What, what are your thoughts? No? No. She doesn't care. They don't care about my Sims game. I keep trying and they never care. I'm trying to be brave, but honestly, it's it's kind of starting to hurt my feelings that they're so uninterested in my passions. I don't even know what else to put. Maybe a TV, because then the cats can watch like cat TV. My cats like the couch, so they could have like a little couch in there maybe. Is it even possible to roof this? No, no, it's, it's really not. It's... <sighs> I have no idea where I would even begin with this, to be honest. So part of the problem with stuff like this is that I usually try to make roofs that are at least somewhat realistic, right? So for example, a roof that's like this, you probably wouldn't see something like this in real life because when you think about like if it rains, all the water is just gonna pool right there in that corner bit. Like you don't want that. You want there to be a proper peak on the roof. So when the house is such a strange shape, it makes it really, really difficult to do a roof that is not A, too much. <laughs> Cause this is a lot, like that's a lot of pieces happening. But B, to make a roof that's not extremely unrealistic is very hard to do with a house that's this shape. Maybe we just don't care though. Like maybe it's fine if the roof is ugly cause the house is kind of ugly too. Oh my God, the number of pieces this roof this is this is by far one of the worst builds I have ever done well I pictured there being like a little front porch maybe like a little walkway up to the front door I mean you can see what I was going for in the beginning I had a vision I just, I didn't spin in a way that made the vision work. If this could have been the bathroom and like maybe this was the kitchen, it would have been so much better. Things didn't work out that way for me. Things worked out bad. This was bad. Let me give you a quick tour. So when you first walk into the house, we have, uh-oh, that got messed up. When you first walk into the house, we've got a little entryway right here. There's a front door. We got a spot for your coat and your umbrella. We got some keys. There's a little table. When you come down further, we have like a desk nook and a bookshelf. To the right of the front door, we have an art studio. And to the left, we've got this really nice little office space, almost like a library. Uh, in here, we have the kitchen, which is very luxurious and fancy. We have the bedroom, <laughs> which belongs to two infants. Um, they own the house. They work really hard at their tech job, which is why they have two offices. Uh, there's, you know, two fancy computers here. It's because the infants, uh, they're like, programmers or something. Yeah, they, they own the house. This is their room. They're like little twins. Stop. Oh my God. The cats are turning my camera. You want to talk about little twins that own a house? My kittens. <laughs> the kittens are little twins that own a house. Anyway, anyway, in the back, we've got the living room, which is actually a decent price and size. We have the laundry room, which I was lucky enough to fit a toilet and a sink in. I guess we don't need a shower because only babies live here. So they just use the changing table. <laughs> and then we have a cat room. They share the house with cats and that's it. Oh, the dining room. Yeah, that this part's boring. So that's it. That's the whole house. That, this is, wow. There is some luck involved here. We could have gotten lucky and this could have been less bad, but we didn't get lucky and it is bad. Sunny, what do you think? That's finished. Do you like it? Here we have the two babies that own the entire house. Um, obviously this is actually very realistic to my real life. Sunny, please, I'm trying to show you to the people. Anyway, I guess the build's done. This was not exactly my finest hour, but it was fun. I'm not even gonna bother finishing this. I, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna put it on the gallery. This build, as far as I'm concerned, dies here. And if you liked this video, I do a lot of funny, silly build challenges like this here on my YouTube channel. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next one. If you like the cats, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of pictures of them there. There. Karma is a cat and whatnot. And on that note, I'm gonna end the video right here. Thank you for watching and I will see you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. I'm sorry about the noise too. Someone told me they were concerned about rattling in their house and it turned out it was my cats in my YouTube video. They're just babies. I can't do anything about it. They're just, they're just like that. They're loud.